show you how you can upload and screen record your videos using Canvas Studio. Right now, this is my library. You can get to your Canvas Studio library by going over here. You have a link right in your toolbar um, to get to Studio. And then up here in these three lines, you can click that and it's gonna give you some options. This is my library. You also have shared with me and that's a really awesome feature that we have when we use Canvas Studio. Anything that you make on Studio, you can click the shared with me button and these are gonna be videos that um, come from other people in our district. So other teachers that you work with, great for PLC. So I can go here if I have this video, I can share that media and I can click the people right here. It's easy, it's awesome. I can also have a link that I can give, um, which is great for sharing our resources with other teachers. If this is your first time using Canvas Studio, you're gonna have to download the application and the application is just gonna go on your computer. You can see here, um, Screen recorder launcher is right there. It's going to take probably around one minute. If you have any issues with downloading that, you can check out our help desk tickets. We have some articles there on some issues that you can come across with using Studio. After you have that, you're gonna hit this and we'll do screen capture and it will look like something like this. One thing to note is that if you're on a Mac or if you're on a PC or a laptop, Anything you record, it has to be on your main screen. So like I use multiple screens. This is what it will pop up when to download. I've already downloaded this so I can exit that out. If I'm on my full screen right here, I'm on Chrome and I put it in full screen. You can see here, put it in full screen. I cannot record anything on this window. So I'm gonna have to make sure my window is not full screen and use that as my recording base. So I have options down here. I can screen record, webcam, or both. You have these options. Your narration is gonna be your microphone. So you can see I have all of my options here for my mic. I'm right now using AirPods, so I would use pick my AirPods to do. You could also use your computer. Whatever you're doing, make sure if you go back and record, you're using the same for consistency purposes. And then if you're recording something on your computer, you are going to hit yes for that. Usually that's gonna be a no. You also have other preferences here. These are kind of shortcuts that you can use to help with recording. I don't use any of these, but if I was recording a lot, I would maybe print this out and have it someplace while I record so it might be easier for that process. So once you pick your option, you're gonna hit record. And now I'm recording. So I'm gonna use my Jamboard and we're gonna go through this. I'm done recording that, I'm gonna hit the pause button. You can see down here, I also have an annotating tool. So if I finish my equation and I say, oh, well, I wanna circle my answer, I'm gonna do free, free. It's a little choppy. It might be because I'm recording on top of recording. And then when I'm done with that, I can hit the pencil and it will go away. Another thing to note is that if I'm using the draw feature, I cannot move this screen. I can't add anything to it because I have that draw feature on it. It freezes your screen. You can't annotate and move things around on your computer. When you're done, you just hit the pencil and that goes away and then I can move things, I can add an image, I can do things as normal. So I'm gonna hit pause. If I think I'm good, I can hit the done. If you wanna trash it, you can trash it. Um, you can turn on draw and zoom. This is still, I can draw and zoom when it's paused. If you wanna do that just to get things ready, you can do that. But remember, it's not recording. So anything here, you're not recording. So I'm gonna hit done. 
it's going to give me some options. So this is where I'm going to put my title. You might feel tempted to not put anything for your description because you're on a time crunch or it's just a waste of time. But I would urge you to maybe write down a, like one sentence. You could e even write your standard down here. Um, like one step, I would put one step equations. I do Jamboard one step equations. Maybe I put how to, maybe I put teacher directed. So things that will help me when I'm going back. I'm gonna hit upload if I feel good with that or if I wanna edit it. So edit this recording, I'm gonna hit edit. And this brings us to our editing tools. And I'm going to go over all the editing tools in another video. So be sure to check back or look at our other Canvas Studio videos to see all the amazing editing possibility tools that we have that we can use. But for now, I'm gonna hit done. I'm gonna upload that. And we're gonna find that right in our Canvas Studio once it's done uploading. The awesome feature that we have with Studio is we can put captions on the videos that we make, which is so cool. Um, one thing to note is that if you bring YouTube videos into Studio, you can't have captions there, which I will go over in another video um, at roundabout way to get captions for that. But for the videos that we make ourselves, we can caption that. And it's not gonna be 100%, it's probably gonna be around 80% accuracy it's still a cool accessibility feature that we have available. So if your video isn't in studio right away, make sure you refresh and then you should see your video right here, Jamboard One Step Equations. I can view it. I can put more details here. I can edit that. Comments, insights, captions. This is gonna be where I am going to put my my captions here it's not going to work for me because i did not record with any sound so let's go to one that i see if i have one on here you can see right here i have captions that i deleted i'll delete and redo that what language is spoken english i can review and publish that and you can see i only have one part in the video where I added voiceover. So when that's done, I can publish and that will be published there. I have captions there. I can't show you in the video since I'm recording my screen, uh, but you can see how easy that process is. Super simple and it's an awesome tool. So I'm gonna go back to my Canvas library. library. And I'm going to add a YouTube video. So this will pop up. You can add YouTube links here or you can also upload media that you've previously downloaded. So think um, videos in your Google Drive, videos that you've already um, recorded for teaching online. So any of those videos, you can upload it here. I would urge you to do that if you use it. Upload it to your studio when you do it for class because then you can add quizzes on top of that just like you do in Edpuzzle. It's not Edpuzzle, it's not the same thing as Edpuzzle is, but we can do a lot of the cool things that you can do with Edpuzzle right here on Studio. So let's say I find this YouTube video, add video here. Remember when you're using, when you're getting videos from YouTube, you wanna make sure that you do the um, share, copy, and then that's where you can add your YouTube video right here. You're gonna hit paste the link there. So once that's in my studio, now you can put this on any mods, any pages, any assignments, and students. You can also create a quiz on here, annotate the video. So if I wanna add something here, I can add a headline. I can display a link. You can see some, some cool things for there. So I'm gonna discard that. When I'm on my page, 
I can upload my Canvas Studio video. I can do this in pages, assignments, quizzes. I have this little plug-in button right here that I'm going to click, and I'm going to go to Studio. My video should pop up. Here's all my videos. I can search for them up here. I can make collections so that I can group them by unit. When I start having a lot of videos, I can select. And you have this embed button options down here. Um, if you don't allow the display media tabs, then students, let's just have that embed right there. I'm gonna show you the difference. So if I have that button click, students can make comments on it. You wanna make sure that you subscribe to comments so that um, you're ensuring that the conversation is good on the student's end. Also going to do this and look at the difference here, select and have that off. Okay, now we can see the difference between the two videos. So students will see the details and the comments and they can add comments here. They can add it at different parts of the video so you can have students um, start a discussion through the video. Again, you wanna make sure you subscribe to that discussion um, if you have, if you let students do that. Um, down here, this is when I don't allow those, that other media so you can see students can't comment, students can't see the description. So there's, those are your two options. So since the YouTube videos using Studio won't have captions on them, I'm going to show you a quick way to make it easier for you to put captions, to give your students the um, option to go to the YouTube video on YouTube to see captions, um, just to make sure that we're um, accessible for all of our students. I'm going to add, I'm gonna paste my YouTube video in here. And since this is already pasted on my computer, I'm going to go and Click on here and in details, instead of have this long thing, I'm going to delete all of this and just have the um, YouTube link here. So I'm going to hit save. And then this should be added to my library. It should be saved right here. And then if I go into my course. So if we go into my course, we have Studio right here. We're gonna click that. We're gonna select this video. And for now, even if I don't want this embed options on, I'm going to keep it on for now. Embed. And now for myself, I can, it's nice because if I have these options on, um, students can click on there. Um, you can make sure you can Maybe I would put link to captions here for them. Save that. So if you want them to comment on it, if you want them to um, have a discussion through this, if you have a quiz on top on top of it, you can have your details there. So the kids can just oh, it didn't update. Link to captions. Save. Uh, the students can see it right there. Um, if you don't want these options on, since you already added this here, you're going to copy this. And uh, I would make sure to get in the habit of adding that link to the YouTube video in your details because if you reuse a YouTube video from like two years, it's going to be harder to find it on YouTube um, if you don't have this URL in here. So if you have it here, you can just go here, edit this since I already have it copied. I'm gonna delete this, and this is kind of, I know it's a pain, but this is the fastest way for you to do this instead of hunting it on YouTube. Embed that. And then you can do link to captions, and I would make sure to have it be an external link, paste it there. And now you have the YouTube here, the YouTube video, but then if students want the captions, they can click there and it will take them to YouTube with the captions on there. Thanks for watching and make sure you follow our channel for more tech tips.